then this tutorial we are going to learn how to create our own data science blogging um, platform or um, your data science blog based on fast pages fast pages is a new initiative by fast ai fast ai is quite popular in uh, the ai and ml community so fast ai has been making a uh, making it much easier to learn data science and um, artificial intelligence machine learning and one of the um, uh, new initiatives of fast ai is fast pages so fast pages is nothing but uh, an easy to use blogging platform and the good thing for data scientists with this is that uh, you can use your own jupyter notebook as a blog post which means you don't have to literally take your jupyter notebook and put it into something else you can just upload your jupyter notebook and it will be available as a new blog post so let us go ahead and see how to create your own uh, blog using fast pages so the first step for us is um, um, you just basically understand what is fast pages and you have a little bit understanding about jupyter notebook and uh, you have a little bit understanding about uh, github so the first requirement is you need to have a github profile and um, that github profile is uh, is uh, really important for you to um, host your blog because that's where you are going to host your blog and um, so to start with uh, let us see the post where uh, they are introducing fast pages and um, once you go there you find the setup fast pages once you click that uh, you would uh, see this uh, setup instructions so click that setup instructions once you go there um, they are going to ask you to click this link and uh, generate a, a repo which means like you are actually using the fast pages template and then you are forking it in your own repo so click this in a new uh, tab um, uh, control um, link or a command uh, link based on your operating system so now you have got a, a sample repository so give this name whatever your blog name you want it to be so um, in my case i'm going to give the name um, as um, sample ds blog sample ds blog okay so you can give the name that you want um, an optional description if you want make this repo public and then create the repository from template this is the template from which you are going to create this repository once you create it okay so it takes a couple of um, um, seconds uh, because it's going to copy all the content from uh, fast this template and it's going to put it on your own um, repository so you can see that there is an initial commit and uh, now once this is done uh, in a couple of uh, seconds you would get a pull request so just keep um, um, refreshing this uh, in a couple of seconds you would get a pull request once you get a pull request that pull request has a, a set of instructions that you should be doing to set up the initial workflow once the workflow is set up this github action would get um, this github action is going to do the rest of the magic so now your pull request is set up you can see there is a new pull request hello um, thank you for using fast pages so first you have to create an ssh pair uh, which would be used by fast pages to automatically you know publish your blog post so for that you have to do a couple of things so the first thing is open the utility tool once you open the utility tool close it select for rsa and 4096 and click generate ssh keys once you generate ssh keys now you can see that you have got your public and private key so go to the same link the previous tab and then click this link to add a new secret where you are going to add your ssh deploy key it's all underscore ssh deploy key and copy your private key from here and paste it here once you paste it here so your ssh deploy key is fine now you are going to paste your public key so go here and uh, add a deploy key so call it anything like fast pages blog anything that you would like to so you need to start with this ssh rsa so you go here copy the entire thing come back sorry here paste it and it's it it is important that you check this box it is it is to say that you are going to give right access for those who ever use this ssh key and they can you know push changes to this repository once you are done with this thing uh, your next um, step is to go to your pull request you are going to accept the pull request which means you are going to merge the pull request uh, which is um, once that is done your pull request is being merged which means there is a github action now it's going to kicked off so this github action would um, take about um, um, approximately three to four minutes to happen so meanwhile i can show you my existing um, um, blog that i just created before this 
so I, I call it sample blog. So you can see um, all the set of GitHub actions, um, you know, that are um, that are doing the job uh, in the background for you. And I can also show you the blog link. Um, the blog link is this. So this is how it's going to look like. So this is this is um, your um, main GitHub page, and this is the sample blog, the name that you give. And uh, as you can see, I have uploaded a notebook from my local uh, machine to um, this fast pages, and um, that that notebook has been published as a blog post. You can you can also see this thing. So so this is the name of my blog, and um, you can see a bunch of information around it. And you can also see this uh, particular notebook on your GitHub or Google Colab if you want. So so that is what it is. So once you uh, have this thing set up which is which is currently happening here um, we can see so once that is done um, what you have to do is you have to go to your config file so you have to go to your config file and you have to you know make a couple of changes to say that okay what is your blog title what is the description so if you are someone who cares about seo or all those things where uh, you want your blog to appear on um, google searches so please pay a little bit attention about uh, what is the description what is a blog title that you want to give and also if you have a google analytics um, id you want to track so you can put your google analytics id in here so you want your uh, twitter username to pop up um, um, in your blog so you can um, also keep that also another thing is you can copy the same url here and then just edit it and then keep it here so it's, it's easier for you to access your blog anytime you want the blog so you can see the title is my data science blog my data science blog and you have an about me section the about me section um, you can de see details around you which also you can edit it there so you can see your own github link and also you can see the twitter so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go here um config edit and i'm going to edit the twitter link of this channel which is one little coder so that is done uh, now the entire setup is going to happen which means the github action workflow has been kicked in so now the action is uh, going on so if you want to see what is what is in this action also so that's possible um you can go to the workflow then you can go to ci and then you can see what are all things usually happen whenever you make a change in the site right so this is all the um, action that usually happens and if you are planning to get a custom domain which means um instead of having this this thing let's say you want to call it um, mydatasciencesblog.com or mydatasciencesblog.in so that is called custom domain so in case if you want to have your own custom domain you just have to go here and uh, make changes in the cname file uh, which would um, uh, whose instructions you can also see um, in their fast pages um, site so let's go ahead and see what has happened to the site so once we go to the page you can see oh, wow um ci is passing github page status is passing which means um, we have not um, messed up anything so which also means that our blog is successfully up and running so you can see that the blog has a couple of things so like i just discussed let us go ahead and uh, try to see if we can uh, change the name so config change the name um i i would say that my first own blog okay so and um, probably i would uh, change the twitter one a little coder and um, once i commit it um uh, the the workflow would again take place um the workflow has started so meanwhile what we can do is we can copy this link and then we can paste it over here uh, edit paste it so once you're done with this thing so I think on at this point you can be very sure that um, you have a blog, um, but it's 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 just just getting updated because um, you just made a change. So uh, to to mention that this in the background uses something called Jekyll. Um, Jekyll is one of the static site generator, like a lot of other. Uh, static site generator that are available so jekyll is jekyll is one of the most popular static site generators so the other one is called uh, hugo um, which is um, go based and then you have gatsby which is um, react uh, js based so so this internally uses jekyll and uh, the good thing about fast pages is it's not just a jupyter notebook let's say that uh, you just want to pin down something um, something your personal experience 
so you can actually just write it down as a markdown or you can have a word document and then publish it here so it makes it extremely simple for anyone to have their own blog um if you are part of that uh, crowd that has been uh, recently pissed off by uh, medium pop-ups that always asks you to um sign up for pro account which is which is not a bad thing but uh, when something comes on the face so which is which is really a bad thing so mm, if if you are part of that crowd then uh, this is this is quite good for you so let's see what, what what is the status of the ci this ci is currently still happening so let's go back and see the other ci okay so the, the one where we change the name um looks like status is done um, github status is done so let's go check the blog as you can see um there is a blog title that is good and uh, what 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 changes we did so let's let's refresh the page okay once you refresh the page you can actually see that the twitter handle has changed to one little coder uh, which is the twitter handle of our channel so i think at this point you are well and good you have successfully set up your um, first data science blog or at least if you have already set up a data science blog it is always good to have a place where you can own your content than let's say medium or some publication where you are writing where the content is hosted by someone else um it's not uh, something that you own so in your case this case so everything that you write is within your github so any jupiter notebook you have to just upload it here in this format so let's say you have a jupiter notebook you just have to upload it here in this format and then that jupiter notebook will um, um will come up as a blog post like in this case i uploaded something called untitled and uh, that untitled is um, is available as a blog post as you can see here so um this is a code which i was trying to use auto glow and so so that's it your uh, your first um, blog is successfully set up and uh, if you watch this video and then if you are going to set up your first blog please tweet me um and i would uh, like to see how your blog looks like so you can tweet me at um, one little coder so um, i think uh, that that's that's what we have mentioned here right you oh, oh it's it's still the same yeah you can tweet at one little coder so you can tweet at one little coder handle and then i would like to see what is the blog that you have uh, created so yeah thank you for listening to this um, video and um, i hope it was uh, useful for you